Welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, we have Lillian Tara, a contributor with Young Voices and the Institute of Economic Affairs. All right, very smart person um, looking to become an economy or economics policy expert. Uh, should be an interesting discussion. Uh, welcome, Lillian. Thank you for being on the show. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. We're going to chop it up about Governor DeSantis and his unprecedented move to basically eradicate the opportunity for Disney to operate as they have or as they were operating since virtually the 60s. Um, so I don't want to presume what you know or believe about his latest move um, against Disney. So if you would give me your thoughts and I would then opine. I think it's quite interesting. So I think for starters, it's uh, important to remember that this is a special district in regards to local regulation. Uh, Disney still, regardless, would have to fall under Florida state legislature, and they don't actually have that kind of political authority. Uh, however, one of the biggest issues that that is coming up with this is the issue of the debt that have uh, that Disney has uh, collected over the years, about a billion in in bonds. And if this district is dissolved, Disney is actually relieved of the responsibility to pay back those debts, and it may potentially fall on the local neighboring counties who would also have to take over uh, uh, fire services and water services and building of inspections and all that that Disney has currently been um, paying for for the last several decades. So it's very tricky and it's interesting. And um, I think in regards to uh, DeSantis, he's factoring in the social culture wars as opposed to just the economic side of things, which yeah. is quite controversial. Yeah, it's bad, right? It's wrong. Would you not I agree? I think I think in terms of the bill itself, it was not clear as to how they would be paying back the bond and whether or not Disney would be putting the bill. So I'm you curious know, as to see what what they're expecting out of that. So let me let me run down the list, and this is what I do with my college students in the policy in my policy classes. Okay, number one, I ask what was the why. So we start there. What was the why? Why was this legislation even important? Number two is is it right? Number three is is it legal? Four, is it constitutional? Five, is it helpful? And six, is there a general consensus to do it? So let's just start at number one, the why. I submit to you that the why is in itself a constitutional violation. And let me explain why I have that proclamation. The why for Governor DeSantis is because he disagrees with Disney's CEO as it relates to what has been deemed the don't say gay bill. Yeah. He says, the CEO of Disney says, we're gonna fight to repeal that bill. I'm on record, I'm gonna fight to repeal it, it's a bad political bill. Well, remember the Supreme Court has already interpreted the constitution and said, well, corporations do have freedom of speech. They have political rights, they can say what they wanna say. The first amendment of the constitution says, and their speech cannot be abridged upon by any governmental entity. Congress can't make a law that would abridge your freedom of speech. So if we simply combine those two narratives that are congruent from the United States Supreme Court, that one, corporations have political free speech, and number two, governments cannot abridge upon that political free speech, meaning make laws to limit it. What DeSantis has done in his why, is made a law to penalize the free speech, the free and protected speech of Disney. Do you see this any other way? I think that is one of the primary legal objections. And I'll, I'll actually pose another one, which is that Disney is bound contractually with the state. And if this district is dissolved, the state is legally obligated to take over the debt as well. And that's another yeah. potential issue for the local county. So those are the two big legal objections, yes. Yeah. Number two in my policy analysis is, is it right? So let's look at the way it impacts actual people. And that's how you determine if something's right. How does it impact people? In both scenarios, either Orange County and the other county adjacent to it, they will have to absorb the $1 billion bond or the state will absorb it. You don't really know because it's unclear in the legislation. But here's what we know for sure, 100%, whoever absorbs it, it will be taxpayers. That may be stretched out throughout the state, or it may be consolidated to two counties, which will be massive, right? 
So now you have a bill that is guaranteed to increase taxes somehow. Is that the right thing to do because of the why, which is related to you not liking the free speech narrative of a CEO? You have now decided to penalize millions of individuals based on your disdain for protected political speech. Have I said something wrong yet? I think it'll be that will be contingent. Yes, I agree with you. Contingent on whether or not uh, they actually manage to find a way to get Disney to put some of the bill, which I I just don't see that how they can do. Um, I think I will say, DeSantis seems to be doing this as somewhat of a political strategy in terms of his potential presidential run, and Agreed. that is to me what I what I think it would be the driving factor and the only reason that he'd be taking on um, this culture war at the expense of um, a lot of the uh, economic consequences. But yeah. I agree with your analysis. I think I think your conclusion right there, that political conclusion is not only astute, but it's true. And in the meantime, people who are in the state paying taxes are going to suffer. And this is not the only piece of legislation that has been what we call red meat legislation that's likely to be overturned by a court. I mean, he he's passed some stuff, it will never pass constitutional muster. But it will be in place for a period of time and he's allowed now to campaign on this stuff. Let me also take you to another dynamic, which is connected to um, if it is in fact uh, legal or not. So literally you have a contractual agreement that has been breached. And this contractual agreement has been in place since 1967. Do you see that there's possibly an argument for breach as it relates to what DeSantis is trying to get done adverse to Disney? Yes, uh, that's the second main uh, legal objection that, that might be pursued. and. One of the issues, I, I believe the Reedy Creek District, which is the name of the district That's uh, itself released the statement that said they would not be responsible and the bond debt would be transferred to the local districts. If they can somehow manage to mitigate this, then the issues in regards to the taxpayers putting the bill would, would be obviously much better. But I'm not sure how they'll do that and that's something to look, look forward in the future. All right, so even if they figure all of that out, Lillian, even, even if they say, okay, we're gonna make some caveats here, make sure there's not uh, this uh, burden for the $1 billion bond, they get past the legal barrier that may be presented in their original breach of the contract or breach of the contractual agreement. You still have to ask yourself the question, is it helpful? So let's say the billion dollar bond thing off the table. Let's say they figured out a way to make sure services are still supplied. You have a $105 million tax collection that goes away per year, it's gone now. All right, so you no longer have that ability. And based on my research, Disney actually runs the ambulance services for that local area based on their special district. And and I want to remind people that special district, Disney isn't the only place that has one of those special districts. There are multiple districts like that in the state of Florida. So now you literally are creating a safety and health hazard by taking away this district allotment because you don't like the free speech of one CEO. You see how dramatic this becomes when you look at all of the variables and the ripple effect of harmful legislation? Yes, so in regards to that type of district, the special types of districts, there's about 50,000 in the US. Um, and they generally take over a lot of the local government roles, including ambulance services, perhaps. Yep. And what would happen in this case is that the local counties would most likely have to take over. So it wouldn't be left alone, but there would be the taxpayers paying for it. I think in regards to the decrease in tax revenue, this is something that DeSantis would have to actively counter with some extra taxes on Disney. And I I think that that is one of the reasons that people have posited that Disney might not object to, to this ruling because they might actually want the reduction in tax burden. So depending on whether or not there are gonna be additional charges made against Disney and whether DeSantis is gonna follow through any other ways to try to mitigate the bond debt on and reduce the debt burden on the taxpayers. Uh, that is gonna be a big portion as to whether or not this is actually yeah. something that Disney objects to. And listen, I really hate that sometimes conservatives do things that are so extreme that I'm in a position where I'm literally providing defense for a major corporation. I'm, I don't give a damn about Disney. Okay, let me just be very clear on the record. Uh, Disney, they have funded people on the left and the right. All right, they funded individuals I completely uh, abhor. 
Uh, all right, but it's, it is what it is, they're a major corporation. Uh, but this is a bad precedent and the only reason why I have the position I have is because based on what the deal is today, that doesn't mean they can't change it later. But based on what the deal is today is harmful to general people, to the public. And I don't wanna see that happen without providing some level of fight against it. I appreciate you being on the show, it's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you so much, have a great day. Absolutely.